to the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. All right, home racing fans. Well, everybody's given their opinion already on the Batmobile, the latest from Skelectric that's came out recently. You know, not so many good comments, but I like it. As you can see, I'm kind of a Batman fan. Um, some die cast here. Uh, several cars in the background. Uh, you guys remember that? That was just a little while ago. Um, you uh, veterans out there, I think you know what that is. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Probably one of the prize slot cars in my collection. And of course, Skeletric has made other versions before from the um, the Dark Knight trilogy and stuff like that. But uh, I was excited to see this one from the classic series. So we'll take a closer look. But uh, so far, you know what? No complaints. All right, so we'll get right to it. Um, like I said, everybody's made plenty of comments on these cars. Most of them I disagree with. I'll just say that right away. But um, the number one complaint, I guess, about this car is the absence of Robin in the car. Um, here's my thing. If you, if you knew that he wasn't there, buying the car and complaining about it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, do I wish he was in there? Sure I do. Do I think it was a mistake and all that? Sure, I think it would have added more to the car. But here's the thing. For me, it's more about the car itself than the figures inside. Even if they didn't put Batman in here. I'd have bought the car. I'd have been a little bit more disappointed, but I still bought the car because it's about the Batmobile uh, for the most part. And uh, again, nothing's perfect, but I think the detail level is pretty good. Um, like I said, nothing's perfect. I have uh, people doing uh, measurements and everything that it's a little on the small side and everything else. Absolutely, nothing's perfect. But I just have to say, uh, this is probably the epitome of a toy. Um, it really isn't designed for racing. This is more designed for folks like me, I guess. Uh, you know, just enthusiasts of the car, of the show. It's a collector's piece. Yeah, it'll uh, it'll go on my shelf. Um, it doesn't run very good out of the box on my track. You're not going to see any testing there. It uh, it just doesn't perform that well non-magnet. You know, um, underneath, you know, the car inline configuration. I like the uh, the Patman logo there inside the chassis. It's kind of neat to see that. But, um, you know, I don't know of any tires that fit it because I'm not going to bother. I just wanted it because I love Batmobiles. I'm just a Batman person and I had to have the car. So if uh, the absence of Robin, a few of the inaccuracies bother you that much, my best advice is just don't buy the car. But I think most of you out there, this is a really cool piece to have, whether it's on your shelf, nice little conversation piece, might catch the eye of some people. And uh, that's exactly why I purchased it. So, no, it's not perfect, but I'm not going to condemn Skeletric as harshly as some people are. Um, they made a mistake. It is what it is. But uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I wasn't expecting uh, anything more than what I see in front of me. So for that, I'll give them a thumbs up just for bringing the car out so I could add it to my collection. But again, to each their own. 